Traditionally, letterheads can be created in Microsoft Word, but they can be very clunky and they aren't the best looking. So I'm going to show you how we can create something on a website like Canva. Choose from really amazing looking graphic design templates that comes with that. Apply your branding colors. And then finally, we're just going to save as a PDF, bring it to Microsoft Word and use it as a letterhead. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, now we're in Canva. Canva is a platform where we can create a lot of graphic design templates and logos and stuff like that. And first of all, I'm going to look for a letterhead. And I'm going to choose letterhead from this. And as you can see here, there are a lot of templates that you can choose from. I want you to pick some kind of layout design that you like, not the colors. We can change the colors. We can change the logo. We can change a lot of things in detail later on, but pick something that's going to work. You can also choose design that has like little oval shaped backgrounds or color backgrounds. Everything will work fine. In fact, I'm just going to choose this design and I'm going to pick on that. Here we are, as you can see there, there's a bit of a logo here, there's a bit of colors that it may not work. And that's the beauty about Canva is that we can change all the little details. For what I'm going to do, I don't like the logo, this is not my logo, I'm going to delete it, I'm actually going to use my own logo there. So from here, I'm going to bring my own logo here. So I'm just going to click on that and bring my logo right here. You can also import or upload your logos just like that, really simple. I'm going to use this right here. Yeah, I'm going to change that to my name. And you can also change the color. Um, click on that. White color will look fine there. And you can change the typeface if change a different typeface to Poppins Medium, which looks good. One thing you want to do is, of course, delete the text because once you keep the text there, you won't be able to change that. So I'm going to just press delete there. Um, I'm going to delete the DSM Madam as well. In fact, I'm going to delete all these things. And in under there, you can change all these little details such as your email address, your phone number, um, your social media, and so on. So I'm just going to change that to brilliantong.com. All right, it doesn't really matter what number you change. And I'm going to change the color. So the colors don't really fit my branding. So I'm going to go with my branding elements, which are a little bit of blue. And, um, and that looks good there. And same here. And I'm going to change the yellows to all my own colors. All right, as you can see here, I've just finished creating my design template. So the next step, we're going to download it as a PDF file to your computer hard drive, and we're going to bring it to Microsoft Word so that we can type on it, we can save as a template, we can share with our own colleagues. To do that, I'm just going to click on that little download icon, and I'm going to use the PDF print and click on download. All right, as you can see that the download's now starting, and now we're going to open it from the Microsoft Word. All right, as you can see here, we have downloaded this file as a PDF onto our hard drives. So we're going to open up Microsoft Word and we're just going to import that. All right, now we're in Microsoft Word. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to the design panel. Here is the design. And what you want to do is look on your right and make sure your windows open all the way up and look for the icon called watermark. And under the watermark, you can see that's uh, all gibberish words there you can see we can change from no watermark to picture and we're going to select the picture and right now you will notice that it's somewhere in the middle it's a little bit faded it's washed out so we're going to change a little bit first of all i'm going to turn off the wash out so that you can see that starting to look a bit more clearly and we're going to change the scale to maybe about 100%. This one is going to need a bit of fiddling. Usually 100% works really well. But sometimes, depending on the size of the document, you may have to change it to 50%, 40%, 60%. Um, you can try different settings. Sometimes you may need to turn on and off the wash out for you to see the effects there. But in this scenario, 100% works really well. I'm going to press OK. Now, as you can see that you can already start typing. Um, you can also change those little indents to make sure that everybody follows the same indentation. And now we're ready to type. We're going to press end a few time. You can just say, you know, the date in there and you can just um, put whatever words that you need to put in. As you can see, this is all in Microsoft Word, all the spelling checks, grammar checks, everything's all available just as the old Microsoft Word. So when you're ready to, you know, print it, you can press, you know, print, control P on the keyboard or go to file, print. You can see the background will appear really full color. And if you'd like to save the file as a PDF, you can also do that. So to do so, go to File, Save As, and choose PDF. 
And from there, you can save the file and wherever you like to. And as you can see there, the PDF file is here. When you open it, you can see all the branding elements very, very clearly, nicely done. And you can get it printed. You can send it over email and everything. So I hope this video really helps you. And over Canva, there are plenty of different designs that you can choose from. There are different templates. There are a lot of really cool designs that you can see here. Um, letterheads, artist letterhead, business letterhead, law firm letterhead. There are a lot of different letterheads. You can take your time. Uh, a few tips I can give you is that try to leave a little bit of space near the edges, the borders. Don't put your content or text too close to the edges because you may lose them when you print them. But Generally, it's really simple to use Canva and then design something, download it as a PDF, bring to Microsoft Word, use as a watermark. So, hope you enjoyed this video. My name is William Ong and I'll see you in the next video.